It's Made It Mondays with Crafting Cousins. Let's craft, y'all. Hey, y'all. It's Trish with Crafting Cousins. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a huge haul for you guys. I went to three different thrift stores to include a Goodwill outlet. I went to four different Dollar Trees. I went to Hobby Lobby, Joann, and Walmart. So we're going to jump right in since we have a lot to show and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So the first place I'm going to show you is Dollar Tree. That seems to be everyone's favorite. So I'm going to show you what I found there. Now mine has just started getting in these galvanized metal pieces. I got this house. I got one of these little bottle caps. I got this one that says hello. And then there's some more a little bit further down that we will get to as I start clearing off this area some. Now mine also started carrying these packs of the faux flowers. They're like the solo wood flowers. They can be dyed and painted. So I picked up one pack of those. I picked up one of these little um, wood blend wreaths. I think these are so pretty the way they wrap these. I picked up two packs of the cotton pods. I have picked these up before. I love using them in projects, so I went ahead and picked up a couple while they still had some in stock. I got some of this ribbon. This is the um, the cream with the black stripes on it. I forget what they call Do they call this ticking ribbon, I think, maybe? Anyway, I love this, and so I picked up a pack of it. I also picked up a pack of erasers, and I'm actually going to be using them in a project. Now, I got this kind, and I got two packs of this kind, because I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use yet. These are a little bit bigger than these, so we'll see which one I end up using. Now, here's some more of that galvanized metal. I got some of the tags. I really like those. I got some stars. I think those are pretty. I got this little truck. I love this little truck in the galvanized metal. I think it is so adorable. I also picked up another stencil. I've really been on it with the stencils lately. I love using these with texture paste. Um, and this one is one of the square ones. And you just turn it and it gives you all different kinds of designs. I picked up another one of these embossing tools. Um, one of the ends broke off of mine, so I picked that up while I was there. I got a pack of these small glass bottles. I like these. I think they're cute to use in certain projects. I actually have one in mind. We're going to go back to the galvanized metal. I also found these little letters in the galvanized metal. Now, this pack has from A to M, and this pack has from A to M, and then this pack has from N to Z. And there's another one of these in here somewhere. I'm sure we'll come across that because I got two of each so that I would have the same amount of letters. I picked up two of these little tags. Now, these are a lot better quality than the big tags that they sell. Um, these are a um, stronger chipboard. It's thicker and it doesn't warp as easy. So I thought these could be fun to use. Here's some more of that galvanized metal. These are the bigger pieces. I got one of the stars. I actually got two of the mason jars. I really like those. And I got two of these corrugated signs. I really like these as well. Now, over in the paper section, I love looking at the stickers and the rub-ons. These are perfect for different projects. They had a few new ones for my store. Now, they probably aren't new to you, but they were new to my store. I got this one that has all the wording on it. It has um, gather, memories, trust, resolve. It has those kind of words on it. I got this one. How beautiful is this one? This one is so shabby chic. It's got the butterflies. It's got the script. It is so pretty. And then I got this one for the 4th of July. I have not used it yet because it took me a little bit longer to film this haul. So I'm not sure if I'll end up using it this year. If not, I'll just put it up and use it next year. Now this, oh, here's that other pack of letters. I told y'all I had two of each. Now this is a new product that I found at my store. It is by Super Glue. It is like the Fix All Adhesive that I love so much. But this is multi-purpose cement. And this is supposed to hold even stronger than my Fix All Adhesive. So I picked up two of these. I can't wait to try them and see how good they work. 
for the super glue. I also found that they are making this tape now. It's mounting tape and it says that it will hold up to 20 pounds. So I picked up three of these. I can't wait to see if it actually works as good as I hope it will. I picked up two of the square wreath forms. Kay and I like to take these and she takes one and I take one and we do our own take on how we would design with them and you've seen us do that a couple of times so we thought that we would have fun and do that with the square wreath form as well. I also found some of the bicycle wheels. Mine had not had these. We have like eight different stores in our area and I have kept looking at all of them. I never did find them. Walked in one. They had four. I wasn't stingy. I only got two. I also picked up some placemats. Now, I have a project coming up. It's actually going to be on our other channel, Crafting Cousins Create. And I'm going to be using these in my Try It Tuesday video for next week. Not tomorrow, but for next week. I can't wait to show you guys what I'm going to do with these placemats. Now, the next place I went was Walmart. And I just got a few things from there. I got some more glue sticks. I love these glue sticks, especially when paper crafting. I picked up three of these little canvases. Um, I probably wouldn't have bought them. You know, I mean, they've got print on them. But y'all, they had these marked down to 10 cents each. You can paint over these. You can decoupage over these. There are so many things that you can do with these. So I was excited to get them for 10 cents. I also picked up a pack of reinforcers for, you know, punching holes. Um, I like to use these on tags when I'm doing my paper projects. So I picked up a pack of those as well. The next place I went was Joann's, and y'all, I'm so proud of myself, I only bought one thing at Joann's. I have been wanting one of these corner punchers. This is by We Are Memory Keepers. They're normally like $30, but they had this on sale. I got it for $14, so I couldn't turn that down. I have really been wanting one of these. I think it's going to help with rounding off the corners of my paper projects. The next place I stopped was Hobby Lobby. I don't go to Hobby Lobby as much as I used to. I'm still a little ticked with them about the coupon thing. So I only go when I really need something that I know I can't get anywhere else. But they did have some good sales going. I got this pack of washi tape that was on clearance for $1.49. So I thought, you know, this could be really good to use. If nothing else, I like to tape down whenever I'm tracing over my projects to transfer them to, um, you know, the piece that it's going to be on. That way it keeps it from moving so much. So I got that. I also found these stickers on clearance. I got some stars and then I got these pretty little shabby chic love and flowers and stuff. And they were 74 cents each on clearance. I love looking in the clearance. And especially right now, I guess they're resetting their stores and moving things out, making some sections smaller or whatever. So if you walk down the aisles, you'll find all kinds of orange stickers in the paper section, in the bead section. I found all kinds of things on clearance. I also picked up a pack of these um, embellishments for the corners of books. I had someone suggest this to me over on our other channel when I made the little junk journal. I crushed the edges of that and they said that I should get some of these to put on there. Now I will say they're a little pricey. It's five dollars for the pack. You get eight in here which would do two books. Now I did get them when it was 50% off. Paper Studio is 50% off every other week so it was only $2.50 but I think Personally, I would say that for some of my bigger journals, especially if I was going to be selling them, because that adds quite a bit of money to a small one, and you can't get that back sometimes. Now, I also picked up some of these lobster clasp. I got some of these um, coilless safety pins. These are great to use in journals. You decorate these for embellishments. I've got a couple of videos coming up where I'm going to be doing that. I got some of these bulb pens. These are great for hanging your danglies in your journals and stuff. I got some of these little rhinestones that you um, push in and you close the clasp on, you know. I thought these could be really pretty. I picked up some head pens because I love using these and I'm going to be making some danglies. So this was for that. And then I also got some of this. This is over in like the... Um, upholstery section where you get the stuff you know to 
decorate your pillows and stuff they sell this kind of chain this one has the pearls and the beads they have all different kinds i love getting these to use for danglies and stuff because they're already put together all you have to do is separate them maybe put a charm on the end and you're ready to go so that's an easy way of you know make it a small um charm or a purse hanger all different kinds of things that you might like to make so the last thing that i got at hobby lobby was a couple of molds i like to get the silicone molds over from the cake section these are the ones that they use for fondant so they're pretty shallow and that just means that they're going to dry faster they have some great detail in these they had them on sale for 50 percent off this week so i got this one it has roses it has some little curly cues in it I'm going to really enjoy using it. But then I also got this one. And this one was only $2 because it is 50% off. And I'll be honest with you guys, I've already opened it. I did close it back up because <laughs> I was going to try to be professional. But I decided to be honest with you and let you know that I had already opened it and tried it. Y'all, I love this. You put a little bit of clay in here and look at the dimension that you get. It gives such crisp detail and then I played around with spraying it with my homemade alcohol inks that I made over on the other channel. Y'all these are gorgeous. I cannot wait to use these in some of my projects that are coming up. Now let me clean this up. I'll grab my thrift haul and I'll be right back. Thank you for stopping by our channel today. If you are new here we hope that you will subscribe by clicking on the little button below. Make sure you ring the bell so you'll be notified every time we upload new content. We upload videos three days per week offering a variety of DIYs, trash to treasure projects, paper crafting, hauls, and craft show information. We just know you'll find something you'll like with Crafting Cousins. So next I went to my thrift stores. I actually went to Goodwill Outlet, a regular Goodwill, and Valley Rescue Mission. I love thrifting, but I will admit that my regular thrift stores, some of their prices are just outrageous, and I think twice about buying things there. I will normally go whenever it's 50% off, and I'll try to get things there, but Goodwill Outlet, y'all, those are wonderful. They have such good deals there. So the first one I went to was Valley Rescue Mission, and I got this pack of placemats. They were $1.51, but the home decor stuff was 50% off, so I got them for like $0.75. Cent. They remind me of those hats that I like to take apart and use for trim, but they have such variation in the color on them and so much texture. I thought these would be beautiful to use in trim for some of my DIYs. I also got this pack of stickers. These are some sunflower stickers that I found just thrown over on a the shelf. They let me have them for 25 cents. I think they're absolutely beautiful. I love getting signs from the thrift store. I got this wooden sign. It is solid wood. It was $1.11, so I got it for half price, 55 cents. You cannot beat that. It's such high quality. It's so much better than the signs that you get from the Dollar Tree, and I even paid less for it. I also got this metal sign from there. It's got a raised edge on it, and it's got some detail in there. It was $1.51, but I got it for half price, so about $0.75, cent, and I can't wait to remake this. Now, the next thing I got was this bow maker. This one is by Martha Stewart, and... I don't need it. I already have two bow makers. Kay has three or four bow makers. But when I saw this, I thought, you know what? I should get that and do a giveaway. Because so many of you tell us that you would love to have a bow maker, but you know, you don't know where to find it or you've not found any. And so I thought, why not? Let's get this and give it away to someone who would like to have a bow maker. So to qualify to win this, all you have to do is leave a comment down below. Let us know that you would like to have it, and that puts you in the drawing. I will draw one week from today. Today is Monday the 21st, so I think that makes it Monday, June 28th and I will draw from the comments. So if you would like to have your own bow maker, just leave a comment below and that will get you qualified. Now, I love to look over in the section where they throw everything together. Most people won't mess with that because it is a total hot mess. 
but I love looking through there. You can find some of the coolest stuff over there. I found this little frame. It's kind of Victorian looking. I know that we can make it really shabby chic. It was 55 cent, so I can't wait to use that. I love getting office supplies from there. Y'all, I found all of these. These are labels and stickers. There's round ones, there's square ones, there's rectangular ones. I can use these for labeling stuff in my office. I can use them to hold things down whenever I'm tracing. There's so many things that you can use these for. So the circles, you can put those down when you're doing a reverse stencil and make polka dots with them. This was a great deal, and these were actually in a bag, but the bag busted, and I got the whole bag for a dollar for all of these little stickers. Here's another pack that was in there as well. When I went to Goodwill Outlet, I found all kinds of stuff. They have these bins that are there. As a matter of fact, some people call it the bins, and in there, they will have bags of stuff. They will have, you know, stuff just thrown around. Most of it is done by weight. Some of it, if it's a little bit heavier, they put prices on. But I found this bag of goodies in there, and I think I paid like a dollar for it. It has some of these little pom-poms in it. It's got all kinds of little notepads in different shapes in there. There's this um, starburst looking one. There's the little clouds. It has some graph. In there it has a whole thing of fine glitter in there and it has a whole pack of brown paper bags I love using stuff like this over on the paper channel you never know when it's gonna come in handy so yeah I grabbed it I also got this pack of these little hangers now I know this is to hang your shower curtain you know but there's lots of things that you can do with these. You never know where the mine's going to go when you start looking at it, figuring out how you can use it differently. And I got it for like 20 cents, so I picked it up. I also got this pack of S's. There were two in there. Um, I think I paid like a quarter for both of them. I like using these in decor. My last name starts with an S, so these always work out real well for me. Now we're going to go back over to the regular Goodwill real quick. Over in that same section where they throw all the office supply, all the crafting supplies, I got this pack of full sheet labels. Y'all, these, it had 100 in it to start with. There's probably still 90 of these in here. These are about $30 in town, and I got it, well, it says it was $1.49, but that was the color of the day, so I got it for $0.75. Cent. I also picked up this pack of watercolor cards. They are so pretty. They have the matching envelopes in there. They were $0.89, cents, so I got them for $0.45. Cent. These are great to use if you want to make your own cards or if you want to use them for journaling. There's a lot of things that you can use these for. You just have to open up your mind and think outside the box. I also picked up this beautiful lace doily. Y'all, this is so pretty, and it's that ivory color that works so well for Shabby Chic. I got this for $0.45. Cent. You just have to look at those little odd areas and see where they put things. Now, over at Goodwill Outlet, I also picked up a couple of these from the linen section. You, They also have these at the thrift store. They don't cost very much. I ended up paying like $0.25 cent for this one because it's so lightweight. And yes, you do have to wash it and everything, but look at this gorgeous lace that is on here. There's no way I could have gotten lace for that price at any craft store. I also picked up this sham, which I think is so pretty. It's got embroidery on it. It's got this gorgeous lace on the edge. And then this fabric is like a really pretty um, cream colored it's just so pretty and I can think of so many ways to use this. I'll use this probably in my journals. I may even use it over on the DIY channel. I love cutting things apart and using them rather than seeing them go to the landfill. I also got this at the Goodwill outlet. I paid $0.35 cent for it. They wanted $1.99 at the regular store. It didn't sell. It's just a candle holder. I will have to cut these little things off here so that I can use it. But I think it'd be really pretty to use as a riser. Now, when I went into the thrift store, I was looking for a pretty... Um, like shabby sheet kind of plate set. I wanted three different ones. They did not have to match because I'm going to be using them in a project coming up Wednesday. And 
the only ones I found they wanted way too much for they were like six to ten dollars each and I didn't want to pay that kind of price for it y'all I looked up and found this set of dishes that they had and it was 50% off so I got three dollars for this whole set of dishes and it has a five piece setting in it there's three different sizes there's the big one then there's one that's quite a bit smaller and then there's one that's just a little bit smaller than that look at these roses on this this is so pretty and now I can make my project and I don't really need the rest of them but I'm sure that I'll find something to do with them I may even make up some extras of what I'm going to be doing and use it to sell at craft shows you never know now y'all know I love glassware I love the old vintage glassware so I picked up some while I was there I got these two glasses they were taped together they were being sold as a set it was $1.99 but it was the color of the day so I got them for a dollar they are etched and it's like really deeply etched so it's almost like it's cut in there these are so pretty and I can't wait to use them now this one it did come as a set too I think this is so pretty but my silly self, whenever I got to the house, I dropped the bag and I shattered one of them. But I'm sure I'll still find something to do with this one. Now, remember I told you to look over in the craft section? You never know what you'll find. I found this punch. It is a really big punch. It's got these really pretty edges on it. I just love it. It was $1.99. This punch would easily be anywhere from $15 to $20 at the craft store. So I had to grab it and y'all it cuts really good. Now over at Goodwill Outlet, I found this little basket. They do sell it by weight. It don't weigh hardly anything. It was probably about 30 cents. But it's got the most beautiful bark on it. It's all natural. I think it's so pretty. I'll probably just end up putting a flower arrangement in it. But y'all, I couldn't leave it there. It was too pretty. Also, in that craft section, I found this ribbon. It was in a bag all together. It was $3.99, but I got it for 50% off. So I paid $2. Look at this ribbon. Y'all, this is 15 feet of burlap ribbon it is so pretty it doesn't look like any of it has been used i loved it so i had to pick it up in this bag it also had this ribbon it's like a weaved ribbon i don't know and it's an ombre effect with the coloring it has 30 feet on it and it's never been used there was also some of this green shimmery mesh. Now, I don't use mesh in my projects per se, but Kay does. So I will give this to her because I think it'd be beautiful for some Christmas crafts. Before we get to this big stack over here, I want to show you the books that I got. Now guys, please don't come after me about the books. They are 49 cent at Goodwill Outlet and that's their last stop. If they don't sell there, they send them to the landfill and they rot. I am an avid reader too. I love books. I really do. But I can't keep all the books. And I would rather use them in a journal or for decor purposes and give them a new purpose than watch them go to the landfill and rot. If you don't feel that way, that's completely fine. You know, that's the beauty. We all have our own thoughts on things. But I love using them, so I picked up some of these. The first one I found was this Old World Almanac. I love this. The cover of it is so pretty. But y'all, look at these pages inside. Look how aged they are. You cannot get that aging any way other than, you know, it just being old. And I love this. There was no way I was leaving it sitting there. I also picked up this cookbook. Now, this one is like the three ring binder type, but this is padded, and I think this would make a beautiful journal cover. So for 49 cents, of course, I picked it up too. I had one of our viewers over on the paper channel asked me, um, had I ever made one of the junk journals from the little golden books? And I have not. But as fate would have it, they had one little golden book at the thrift store. So I grabbed it. The next book I got was this one. And y'all, this is my absolute favorite. 
I don't know if you can tell, but this book was stitched together and they did such a beautiful job. On the spine, you can see that the pages inside are folded. This book is gorgeous. I absolutely had to have it if for no other reason than to study how it was made. But look at these pages. They're aged. They have Japanese writing on them. Y'all, this could not be more perfect. I can totally see using these as interest pages in journals. I love those. And then the last book I got was this little Minnie Mouse book by Disney. Again, this cover is padded, which kind of made it unique for me. And I thought that it would make a really cool cover for a junk journal. Now, we're going to hop back over to the regular thrift store for just a minute, and then we're going to go back to Goodwill Outlet. At the regular thrift store over in the craft section, I found this pack of two pieces of basswood. This is really thick basswood. It is so nice. It was $1.99, but it was the color of the day, so I got it for a dollar for both pieces. This was a great deal. I can see making some cute little signs with that. Now, the next piece I found at the thrift store, I absolutely fell in love with. It is a Melissa and Doug piece. I found one that was kind of like a tray one time before, and at that time, I did not know what Melissa and Doug was, but several of you commented and told me that it was a high-end toy um, company, and y'all, this piece is so beautiful. Now, for this one, you can tell that it is a toy company because it's got this on the back. This had um, building blocks in it. I'll just take that off. But then look how beautiful this tray is. This thing is gorgeous. And I got it for $2.99. It's so heavy, such nice wood. I cannot wait to redo this piece. Now the rest of this did come from Goodwill Outlet. You guys know I love collecting frames. I love collecting signs. There's so much that you can do with those. The quality is so high. And if I'm going to be flipping something or making something to sell at a craft show, I much prefer to use that than to use Dollar Tree projects. I also prefer to use those in decorating my own home because you can find such nice pieces and with a little bit of paint and a little bit of imagination, you can flip it into something totally different. Now at Goodwill Outlet, they will have these big pictures and frames and they run anywhere from 59 cent up to $1.49. Now for this piece, I got it for 79 cent. It's square. This frame has some gorgeous detail over here. So I know that it's going to be beautiful when we paint it and use it for something else. Now this piece is probably my favorite piece. This is a metal frame. It has all this scroll work up here. Y'all, this is so heavy. It's got tons of detail in here, the way it um, cuts down and has all these little um, indented areas. It has a tag on the back of it. It originally came from Kirkland's. It was $169. At the regular thrift store, they had it for $19.99. Y'all, I got this piece for $0.59. Cent. I cannot wait. It already gives that shabby chic feel. I have something special in mind for this one, and I will be keeping this one for my office. <laughs> now, the next frame I got, this one was $0.79, cent, and it is a, another one of those that has a ton of detail in it. I love painting these and distressing them. I think it gives your project something special to it, you know. Now, this one does have a sticker on the back. I can't tell where it came from, but you could tell that it was a high-end piece, and I cannot wait to use it in one of my projects. The next piece is another sign. It has these little beveled edges. I think it is so pretty. It came from TJ Maxx. It was regular $49.99 for this sign, and I know we can turn it into something beautiful. I paid $0.59 cent for it. Now, this one was $0.99. Cent. It cost more than the other ones. Not sure why, but it was okay. You know, it's a really nice piece. I think it's actually a dry erase board because it has that slick feel to it. So, I know that you could write on it and then erase it back off. It has really nice hangers on the back. I think this would make a beautiful sign. 
Well, okay, I may have lied to you guys before, or at least fibbed a little bit when I said the bird was my favorite, because honestly, I think this is my favorite. Y'all, look at this mirror that I got from Goodwill Outlet. This thing is so heavy and it's so pretty. The mirror has etching on it in the corners. I don't know if you can see it, but they're um, roses and leaves and stuff. It has such a beautiful shabby chic feel to it. We are going to redo this frame and turn it into a gorgeous shabby chic piece. I don't know if I will keep it or if I will sell it right now. I really want to keep it. I just have to find wall space big enough for it because this thing is huge. And I paid $1.99 for it. That's all I paid for. And I know it's because people don't really care for the etching on the mirror, the roses and stuff. But Shabby Chic is back in. Kay and I have always been Shabby Chic girls. We love pink. We love lace. We love anything to do with it. Um, one of our friends, our sweet friend Heidi Somble, she says that we are Granny Chic. And you know what? We love that. We embrace it. And she says that we should because we are very good at it, according to her. But we love it. And I can see making this over in our Granny Chic fashion. Well, that is all of my haul. Can y'all believe we made it to the end? Thank you again for joining me. I hope that you will come back Wednesday. We have something special planned for y'all on Wednesday. We have been looking at revamping our schedule a little bit. So the last week of the month, we are going to show you guys our hauls. We hope to start doing those live. That was another thing I wanted to ask you. Would y'all be interested in us doing our hauls live so that we can interact with y'all and you can ask questions about the pieces that we found? If you would, leave a comment below and let us know and we'll start working on that. And then we're going to start doing something special on that Wednesday as well. You'll find out this Wednesday exactly what it is. Y'all have a great week. We'll see you later. Bye. Thank you so much for watching today. If you saw something you like, we hope you'll give us a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment and let us know what you think and if you have any suggestions. We just love hearing from y'all and it really does help our channel grow. We would love for you to tune in all week for Made It Mondays, Wild Card Wednesdays, and then finish off the week with Craft Chat on Saturday morning. Bye, y'all!